this was a very, uh, very clean, not angry smashing of the stock shifter. Uh, there was no anger involved in this at all. It was strictly uh, strategic. Well, I wish it would have been a little bit warmer today, but I can't complain. Uh, the sun's out, so, but it's only 43 degrees. <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna be doing my shifter, or my Boombo short throw shifter today. Uh, really, I should have everything I need besides, I need like a small punch and some lithium grease. I have my snap ring pliers and everything that I'm gonna need. Uh, there's already some pretty good install videos out there. Subi Speed has an incredible install video on this. Uh, so it's more going to be like a vlog if I run into any issues, you know, I'll just be kind of making little videos along the way uh, I'm probably not going to do like a full in-depth install video But uh, definitely, you know, if I find anything that helps speed the process up like taking something off If I find it an easier way when I put it back on then I can let you know that way when you go to take it off It's a little bit easier anything like that or if I run into any issues uh, but so I'm gonna get to the auto store uh, get a punch and some lithium grease and I'll get back here and we'll get started on this thing Just a little heads up guys always double check like if you think you have the tools to do something just double check um, Because there is this little snap ring up here and I thought I had My snap ring pliers would work, but my tips here are too big and uh, They won't fit on that and I cannot find for the life of me my other tips and also I have these, but I don't have any attachments at all for this. I uh, don't know what happened to them. But so I'm gonna have to either go out and find some for these or go out and actually buy uh, new channel locks. So uh, not a big setback or anything. It's just, uh, it would have sucked if I would have got out there, you know, got the grease and got everything I needed and then had to run back out to get this tool. Uh, because at that point in the install, I would have most likely been ready to put this on and already had this shifter out of the car and then I would have had to you know get another source of transportation to get in there so anyways let's get back to it all right guys so I actually went to Lowe's for the all the stuff I got everything I needed at Lowe's and I probably saved a lot of money uh, the, the auto parts store is always my last resort so like when I did my headlights I actually went to the auto store first because I didn't really think Walmart would have what I needed. Uh, and I got my RTV silicone and I paid like $8 for a, a small tube of it. And I was like, you know what, I'm gonna check Walmart anyway. So I got two tubes for $16. And at Walmart, it was like three something a tube. So I got two tubes for $6. So it was more than double the price at the auto store. And I was like, okay, I need to stop going to the auto store for like anything. Uh, it's literally, unless you can't find it anywhere else, go to Lowe's, Home Depot, Walmart. So I got a huge tube of white lithium grease and this was $4. And I guarantee you this at the auto store uh, would probably be, a, you'd probably get a tube a third of this size, maybe a fourth of this size for like six bucks. But I got a big tube of that. I got plenty of that. Uh, my grand total was $22.62 and I ended up getting a punch, I was, excuse me, I was going to get a, a punch set, but that's definitely the size that I need and it was $3, the set was $12 and I'm on a budget right now. So, well, and then I ended up, I could not find another, uh, any tips or anything for the vice grip, so I just got another one, this was $12. But this will definitely do the job. You got curved ones, you got your straight ones, and uh, you actually got two sets of the straight ones and then a set of curved ones. And that's definitely small enough uh, to fit on that snap ring. So I guess we're gonna get home and get out of the car and get this shifter assembly pulled out and get to this. Well, underneath the car was super easy. Uh, even with the floor jack, I mean, I had to max it out pretty much. Oh, to get under here and get everything out but there it is and honestly that just slips right off that rod right there uh, these bolts were kind of stuck uh, the bolts are right here that hold the actual shield in and then 
the little clip on the white piece there was a little hard to get off but a little bit of finessing and it it's pretty simple so underneath the car is done oh geez <laughs> Quick little tip here when you go to pull this actual dash out um these screws down here you might as well not try a phillips head because it's not going to work uh i mean it might but it definitely started stripping out for me and i had the appropriate size uh they were in there pretty tough so i had to use a socket uh 10 millimeter okay another little quick tip for you uh i noticed in the subi speed video uh they kind of showed like they were pulling up here uh to remove this i definitely had to pull and removing this trim made it a lot easier because removing the trim i could take my hand and grab this and pull uh just be careful because i smacked my hand on the shifter so the shifter assembly is out now this is the tedious part um not really hard just kind of tedious a little bit of time consuming um so just a heads up i'm definitely going to put gloves on before i start messing with this uh that white lithium grease is disgusting and you're definitely going to get it on you at some point during this uh so just do yourself a favor put some gloves on save you all that nasty grease on your fingers um and i guess we will get this inside and start working on it um i have the shifter pretty much out uh, everything's apart honestly they're it's really going to be easy i'm pretty sure to to figure out how everything goes back together so now we're just at the stage where we have to take uh the cap off of here uh and also take this uh, this o-ring here off and then we can start uh punching out this roll pin and then this whole assembly should fall apart and are you good axel what's the matter huh he's sick of it uh <laughs> anyways and uh, i'll get back to you once that's done okay now before everyone asks uh and it starts assuming this was a very controlled very calm very strategic breaking of the stock shifter this was not me being angry and smashing it with the hammer uh, by any means so here's the roll pin and it's bent now it wasn't bent before but i'm going to unbend it i'm going to show you why i ended up smashing the stock shifter i actually just broke the other half of this roll pin off but look you'll get the point so here's the roll pin i'm going to try and do this without yeah, I'm not going to be able to. Let me try and hold this down. Get this. The point of this video is to show you guys the issues that you might run into. So I'm showing you an issue that you're probably going to run into. Uh, I, tr I tried my punch. I tried using an Allen key with a thicker head. Doesn't matter how hard you hit it. I sat and tapped this roll pin for probably 15, 20 minutes. It's not going anywhere. It is stuck in there. So, to hell with that. Uh, recycling. So, anyways, this is all we needed. Uh, the stock shifter is trash now. Uh, so, yeah, there you go. If you don't feel like punching out the roll pin, just smash your uh, stock shifter with a hammer and you'll be fine. All jokes aside, though, uh, yeah, that really was ridiculous. Uh, that pin would not come out and I, I literally was just so fed up that I just smashed it. I probably just spent more time trying to get that roll pin out than I did the whole install. It's really crazy. So... It took me five seconds to smash the shifter to get it out. Anyways, now we got what we need and we got our new shifter. So that's all that matters. Okay, disassembling the Boomba was super simple. Uh, now I just gotta take some white, some of this lithium grease, grease up this ball real good and attach this and then grease up this pivot ball real good, uh, like really good. And then we'll put it back in here. 
are on the home stretch now so hopefully everything is okay and it works Alright, so the short shifter is in. First impressions, it's definitely short. Uh, it, the thing about it right now though is, it, is how crisp it feels. It definitely feels good. You can see how short the throws are. And you can see how low it sits. Um, but yeah, it's definitely, definitely different. Uh, it feels good though, so I'm gonna take it around the block and uh, let you know what my thoughts are after I drive it. Here's the only issue really that I'm noticing while driving, and that's that uh, it's on the e-brake. <laughs> uh, you, you literally have to have your hand like this, like somewhere like this. Uh, if, you, you know, if you hold it like that, you're gonna smack the e-brake. Uh, it's not a big deal Because I kind of hold it like this anyway, that's always how I've done it um, but Whenever you do like start to like shift like I don't know you can definitely Smack your hand on that. Uh, I just did it earlier But besides that it seems like everything is engaging pretty good. It doesn't really feel comfortable. It feels notchy and I always like that. It's just like a sporty feel to it. I, I'd go for it. I especially, you know, if it, even if you're like, even if you're not very mechanically inclined, you know, if you just know the basics, uh, you could probably do it. Uh, it's it's really simple. And I know people are getting quotes of like six hundred dollars for somebody else to do it. Don't take it somewhere. Just just do it yourself. Uh, you know, at least attempt it yourself. And if it gets messed up. You know and you got to have someone someone do it for you then you know but I would at least attempt it yourself because it's it's really simple but anyways guys I appreciate you watching like I said and um, if you want to see more go ahead and subscribe uh, and you know like I said any questions just let me know I'll answer them as soon as I can thank you guys and I'll see you in the next one